Hey, hey everybody. Dexter from Barefoot Bushcraft again here today. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this little project is going to be. So I decided to come out, have a bit of a walk and clear the mind, try to come up with a few ideas. You at home will know what I end up making by the title of the video, obviously, but right now I'm not entirely sure what that's going to be. Hopefully it's pretty cool though. And stay tuned to the end of the video for a little bit of an announcement. Okay, now I'm not entirely sure still what I'm going to be doing for this next project, so for the time being, I figured I'd just finish off this little experiment that I've been doing. I did up a couple of little yin-yang magnets was the idea to them the other day, but then I thought, why don't I try out this glow-in-the-dark paint that I got? It's not the best quality glow-in-the-dark paint, which is why it's a little bit bumpy and stuff, so the first idea, or the first plan I should say, is to give it a sand, 240, 320, then 400 grit. Hopefully that'll take out all the bumps and divots. And then the next part of the experiment was to try to proof tint this little part to make it a bit more black. Never actually used proof tint before, so that'll be another little go. Now I may fail in this, but hey, even Einstein failed a couple of tests, so we'll give it a go and see what happens. Hopefully it'll turn out good. This will go on for a fair while like this, so I might cut it here and I'll come back when it's got a bit more of a finish to it. Righto, about an hour later and three worn out pieces of sandpaper and we're at 400 grit. Now there's a few divots in the paint still, which isn't ideal. I may be able to go back and touch them up because I still have a bit of that glow in the dark paint, but I'm not in not entirely sure if I will, to be honest. I might just go straight onto the varnishing and the staining process. I have a feeling that after I've varnished them up, it may fill in some of those gaps. So we'll just get on to varnishing and see how it turns out. So okay, now that we got them all sanded, I'm going to try this black Japan stain on the sort of darker parts of the yin yang. And I've got my tiniest little paintbrush that I own. And I'm just going to give it a bit of a paint on and then leave it a couple of minutes, rub it off, and then see what it looks like. Okay, well the proof tint seems to work. I've never claimed to be the smartest person in the world, so wear a pair of gloves. That's good enough. And there we go, all proof tinted up. I think that looks pretty cool. We'll let it dry and see how it looks after that. Okay, here's the finished experiment. They've been polished up and they're looking pretty good. The black did turn out a little bit darker than I would have liked, so next time I try this, I might try to dilute that a little bit to make it less dark. Anyway, let's see how they glow. And there you go, two glowing yin yangs. They do look a bit better in real life, it doesn't seem to do it justice on the camera, but you'll have to trust me on that one. Okay, now to the announcement you've all been waiting for. Uh, my intention was to do a little bit of a giveaway to mark my 25th subscriber, but all you wonderful people out there in interwebs land have been so awesome that I've actually already passed it. I thank each and every one of you for hitting that subscribe button. Uh, so now it's going to be a 25 slash 50 subscriber giveaway. All you have to do to enter is leave a comment in any of my videos. I'll go through them and pick my favourite comment for the winner. It can be funny, nice or just plain cool. I'll leave the competition open for about two weeks, so we'll end on the 12th of February. I'll make a small clip announcing the winner and make them a magnet of their choosing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.